episode here we have a React Native app which is done on Expo. In this case, we are demoing the onboarding flow. So whenever a person opens this app, this is what they're greeted with. It's the simple onboarding screen, so you can swipe left or swipe right to go to the different screens. Or you can use the bar options here, which is saying next. You can press next. You also have an option to skip the onboarding. Some people may, re may choose to skip the onboarding, especially if you have the app already downloaded. So after you press on next, you are created with done, and then you press on done, and then you go to your home screen. So that's the whole onboarding flow. And here we have the options on the home screen to log out. This is normally embedded in your settings. So when you say log out, it actually removes a token the token on async storage. So 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 this onboarding flow uses async storage to store the data that uh, the person has logged in already or has seen the onboarding screen so that whenever they come in the next time they don't have to see the onboarding screen so to do that we are using async storage but i'll walk you through that in a second so if we step into the app so currently this is your on app.js we have this simple flow you have the auth provider and then you have the root the auth provider wraps your app it has a uh, redux context so you're trans transferring state throughout the app using this auth provider. So we'll go through it in a second. Then the root. The root is actually your app. So the app logic. So if I go under source, navigation, and root.js. Root.js, we have all the screens. Currently, we have two screens. We have the home screen, and then we have the onboarding screen. So I purposely removed log in and register to log in options uh, just to make this tutorial very simple but if you go to my github repo you can actually see those like those two those two screens and the login the onboarding flow will have those screens so if you're interested in that you can go there but you can stick around to understand how does it work so what do you have to do you have to Currently, we're using a package which is called React Native Onboarding Swiper. So you have to actually install this package. And then what I also have in the screen is just your basic React navigation. So we have your React Navigation, which is the stack navigator. Okay. So and in my root.js, this is what actually happens. So whenever a person opens the app, like what actually happens is that this use effect is actually a run. So the use effect just asks the screen, the phone whether is the person logged in or logged out. Or on the phone, in the async storage, do we have the token? If the answer is yes, something is... If the answer is yes, so we run it here. Is login true? If the answer is yes, so meaning that the person has the token, we just go to the home screen. But if the answer is is no or false, we go to the onboarding screen, which is here. So we go into the stack. So let's check if when a person says that is login false, so they automatically fall in into the screen, which is the onboarding screen. So which is here. So, on the onboarding screen, we have currently the Redux, uh, your, your, your React context, use context, which is referencing the auth context. That's why we set up the authentication there. And then we have another item here which says set item, which says use async storage token. So, that's where you actually register the token whenever the person is done logging in. And then uh, what we have here, we have login user. So this is actual function which actually sets the, the is logged into true. So that takes them to the home screen. And then another one 
you sh this one said set item dummy token so this is a token that you give the phone so you can change from dummy token to anything useful to yourself so but generally this is the to token which is saved in the screen whenever a person logs in so when I go further down here, this is the onboarding screen. So the onboarding screen, like you saw, that it has a um, couple of options. So it has the next, skip, next, and done. These are all coming from uh, React Native Swiper. So I'm not quite sure what is happening there, but for now we don't need it. So that is coming from Big Native Swiper. So, so Big Native Swiper has this onboarding flow. So currently, if you press on skip button, it will run the skip button function, which is this one. And then when you press on next, it will run this function. And then when you press on done, it will run this button. So this is how currently it looks. You can. You can play around with, with these guys and make them look the way you want. Uh, also, another API that uh, the Regenerative Onboarding Swiper gives us is the idea of pages. So pages takes in a background color. It also takes in an image, a title, and a subtitle. So this is what you see. I just gave it reference to to the image that you, you want. You can have as many pages as you want. This is the image which is shown. Normally, like, I recommend having a 250 by 250 uh, pic, uh, points or pixel dimensions. Uh, it works best. Uh, and then the next thing as well, which you might be interested in, is that, so, currently, this is login references it checks the state whether you have actually logged in or the phone and that's like passing of the data is using uh react contact use context which is coming here so here from we have we we create this this function which is the which is like it's like more like a, a react use context create context and then we have the auth provider. So this is the auth context and the auth provider. So by the nature that you see children here, we see, you're going to see that like we're actually wrapping in our app as a child. And then throughout the app, these, these values are going to be available, which is the is login and set is, is login. So but initially, we set the is looking to fall so when you when you start up the app the is looking is false until a person registers and you put the token in the phone and then it changes now to to true so yeah that's basically it um so what you have what you see here is that you must have this create context which is going to pass it around and then you wrap your app you wrap your app in that auth context by importing it here and then the root is actually like the full screens in your app the screens in your app consists of the onboarding screen and the actual screens of the app so you initially you check if the person is logged in if false show the show the onboarding screen if true uh, then just go to the home screen in the home screen, we also have a logout button. What the logout button is does is that it just simply removes the token. So whenever whenever a person press in this logout, so it removes the token from the phone, so that whenever you come back again, you actually start from the onboarding screen. So I hope this was I hope this was helpful. Um, if you're looking for a specific example, you can just put it in the comments. You can always do the onboarding flow without using uh, this, this library. You can do it 
a fully custom way and if you're interested in that you can let me know as well. Cheers y'all, hope you have a good one.